Excellent. Well, hello, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Jeremy Horn. Um, I am uh, the VP and Global Head of Product Management here at Cognizant, Cognizant Soft Vision. Um, and a little bit, uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, I've worked, uh, I've worked in a lot of uh, different organizations before I joined Cognizant. Spent a good chunk of time uh, in the startup world. Worked across media, network security, AI, wearables. Um, I, in my uh, just a little bit more background to show you how well-rounded I am. Uh, in my free time, uh, when I'm not thinking about uh, working towards the future of product management here uh, at Cognizant, um, I am uh, teaching, I am uh, helping uh, mentor, um, uh, and uh, working with a lot of other uh, up-and-coming product people. I've taught at uh, Carnegie Mellon Heinz, the, the New School, General Assembly, created the curriculum over there, run uh, the world's largest meetup for product managers here in New York City, where I'm located, um, as well as in uh, London, and I have a mentorship program that's in over 25 countries around the world that really just uh, is there to help make better product people. Um, as a, uh, just a little bit more about myself, uh, I have a, I, I have a, I have a, very supportive wife and a six-year-old son, Isaac, uh, who just started uh, who just started first grade the other week. Loves secret codes and a daughter who likes to eat his secret codes. But with that said, we're here today to talk about the future of product management, what that means for the role, what that means for companies, uh, what that means for uh, the different uh, types of clients. Um, Sure, there's there are more complex or comparative definitions um, of what product management could be, but I think the best one, the simplest one, uh, is about solving real business problems for real people. And I and I really underline that real people for a reason because at the end of the day, and I think the most important thing to never lose sight of when you're thinking about product management and creating products, it's it's about the people, uh, those people who practice product management most often known as the product managers. Um, and those product managers, uh, in the words of Marty Kagan, uh, are there to discover a product that is valuable, usable, feasible. Um, and, and in order to understand that future um, of, of uh, where product management going, where product managers are going, um, uh, what's most, in, and, where, and increasingly, how that's gonna drive increasing positive outcomes for both product manager and those global 2000 companies out there. Um, we are going to really dive into and start our conversation on the new and upcoming generations uh, that, that make up of these companies, these customers, um, these product managers, um, generations of amazing people in the workforce, and notably Generation Y and Generation Z. So to look at the future to, of product management is to really look at our future um, and understanding the powerful points of views of generation Y and Z. Generation Y and Z, when you look at the workforce, according to Gallup, uh, they make up over 46% of the workforce. Um, and they're really driving cultural change around the world for everyone, for those top global organizations. They're both our users and our associates. They want companies who care, are ethical, transparent, and support diversity and inclusion, who provide clear career advancement opportunities and education. Uh, the impact of these characteristics, the role and impact of product management have very much been obviously accelerated by the pandemic. I think we can all see uh, many of these trends before you here today when looking at Generation Y and Z, when thinking about uh, all, all those, those other factors that have come up, all, all those other incidences that have really accelerated to a future where those companies that can best empower their people through pods, technology, legacy, subject matter expertise, scale, product mindset, will also be those demonstrating market leading differentiation, accelerated to a future of holistic product management. Now, when you're looking, when you're looking to the, as you look to the future, a mindset and forward leaning philosophy the future of product management can be seen expanding into all areas of the, of the organization. That, that means beyond tech, uh, be, beyond tech, you're looking at business development, marketing, HR, 
operations. And it's about strengthening everyone's ability to participate with a solid product mindset uh, per uh, Chris Butler's talk that, uh, that you'll be hearing a little bit later today. Solving all, all sorts of problems with a product management approach. Uh, fast learning, iterating, KPIs, goal alignment. Now, when you're looking at this future, um, when you're understanding the gen generation Y, Z and extrapolating that out, uh, what you end up with really three important building blocks. The first one I wanna mention, and I think for a lot of us, uh, it'll be uh, quite, quite obvious, um, is that one of inclusion. Uh, so inclusion, when we talk about inclusion, it's about everyone is, is part of generating that value. It's diversity of, at all levels. Um, it's, it's diversity of background, of thinking, ideas. It's about maximizing everyone's unique perspective, facilitating the integration of everyone's strengths and perspectives towards a greater whole. Now, when you go to the, the second, uh, secondly, you have collaboration. When you're thinking about, as you look, as you look towards this future of, of collaboration, we're talking about a whole new way, of, a new hyper degree of collaboration. The role of product man manager, not as an idea creator, but of an inter and intra team facilitator, aligning everyone to those North Star goals and maximizing the skills of everyone involved. Subject matter expertise, technical, heritage, industry, user, market, continuously keeping everyone in the loop, maximizing the skills of everyone involved. Um, third, thirdly, distribution. The team, I, think, I think this one, uh, especially as you think about distribution and you think about um, what the impact of the pandemic has had uh, on all of us um, and what we've all learned through this, um, it's about maximizing the team with the best people to solve the problem and problem or problems at hand, regardless of location. People are now everywhere. We can take advantage of, um, of the best skills, re regardless of where they are. Remote work is the new normal, more appealing, creating a more appealing place to work for, for many folks and increasingly leverage it, leveraging cloud-based tools uh, in, this, in this distributed world, such as a game of pods to coordinate amongst other pod members, stakeholders, clients, et cetera. Put simply, when you're looking, when, as you look towards this future, uh, the, these foundational elements, this future of product management, we're look, it's a future where everyone contributes, everyone experiments, learns, validates, everyone matters in the process. And it, as, as, you look, as you look towards um, these different components, these, these different concepts, it's about, it's about taking all, it's about being a facilitator. It's about uh, maximizing those skills. It's, it's bringing everyone together. It's, it's uh, taking ego out of the, even greater out of the equation. When you look towards that future, we're looking at a future, few, these future generations where sharing, where um, having a voice, where having impact, all of these things matter. We're having a clear career direction matters. And when you think of, and so that all feeds into the environment that drives and un, undergirds the environment of product management and where it's going over the next uh, um, many, uh, several years. And as, as, you, as you look at that, what that means is it's all that much more important that we make sure everyone, uh, everyone's voice is heard. But we do that in an organized way, um, in a thoughtful way, in a way where we, under, we make sure we understand and we maximize everyone's skill uh, uh, in, that, in that process, uh, where we respect everyone's opinion in that process. Um, and that is... That is that that is that is that is that I think the most critical of those takeaways when you look at the upcoming generations and how they're influencing um, the future of product management and the role. Uh, the future is today at Cognizant Soft Vision. The future is today. Um, we live and breathe um, everything that I've already spoken about, um, and and also things I will be speaking about shortly. Uh, iterating, learning, adjusting. In designing for this future, from workshops and frameworks 
uh, to coaching and platforms like Game of Pods and Talent World, not only are we able to offer our associates the gold standard in product management experience, but in turn provide our clients uh, with the most effective, leading edge, holistic approach to creating and evolving their products. As we, we always, it's always about making sure that we are aligned for that future, for today, looking at where everything is going and really maximizing and taking advantage of those, those very positive trends uh, that the, the, the newer generations are creating, the atmosphere they're creating. Um, and more importantly, uh, mitigating risks, identifying high value problems, aligning goals, uh, exceeding success, defining KPIs. That's what we're about. And that's what uh, we've been able to do as we've tapped into these future trends of product management and, and the role. Um, so let me tell you a little bit more. Let me tell you a little bit more about that. Um, so when the role of product manager is aligned with the future of product management, you both attract and grow great product managers. Uh, I, I, it's, it may be easier said than done, but that that is everyone wants to work uh, in a place that's on that on that cutting edge where there's an opportunity for people new and experienced in product management to have an ability, an opportunity to con to continue to learn. The great those great product managers love to solve the right problems for real people with skills and mindset derived from diverse backgrounds. They drive vision, strategy, design to deliver world-class products that drive productivity, profitability, market share and to our clients, outcome and business value driven. These great product managers lead with empathy uh, to understand the goals of the clients, to help them better understand the needs of the market and customers serve as domain experts and evangelists for modern product management practices, future product management practices, helping clients to implement more effective practices that also drive that kind of organizational performance. Fostering a team culture of transparency, inclusion, innovation to maximize every team mem member's ability to deliver with the very highest quality. That a future facing product management organization the people within it, those product managers, those associates, those partners, that's demonstrate all of these, these uh, amazing skills um, uh, within, within the organization. Our future aligned product managers help make sure you're delivering on the digital goals in several ways. First, they de-risk investments. Contrary to how product managers are typically viewed, they do not help manage risk in the development build process, but rather tackle system-wide risk. The, this de-risking can take many forms. Uh, for example, market risk, avoid wasting resources building the wrong products. Financial risk, overshooting budget on building, marketing, and maintaining products. Technical risk, making sure the products go into the and go into market are fit for purpose and don't pose additional risk to end users. Operational risk, putting the wrong people or skills on projects or missing out the input from important stakeholders. These risks, managing risks, uh, uh, I think can very obviously, and I think uh, be understood um, especially more easily uh, in the context of the pandemic that uh, we've experienced and continue to experience now. Product managers have been able to play, especially those um, with that eye towards that future North Star, have been able to provide uh, an increasingly valuable role in managing and mitigating this, these types of risks as well as others. Product managers manage these risks by having the requisite knowledge, understanding the market landscape, the organization, and most importantly, your end user, being able to spot potential issues by validating unknowns. Uh, before they emerge as problems. And they apply a product mindset so you're continuously innovating in order to provide the best possible products to your customers. Identify, being sure to understand the what's and the why's um, and the value um, and uh, uncovering what, what the real needs are, what the real positive outcomes are and really driving towards them. Digital transformation, it's all about connecting people, processes, technology into a larger ecosystem. The future-facing product manager 
is in the perfect spot to make this a reality. They get how, inter in how interconnected all three are. They know how to channel them towards better outcomes. When we help clients discover, define, deliver and evolve delight, delightful products and solutions this, that solve user problems and create and maximize business value, partner with clients to, to discover user problems and develop product hypotheses that allow us to capture business value through products. We all, as we work towards this, these futures and as we really imbue the process these, pro the, these current processes with um, the vectors, the direction as to where um, uh, product management and the industries and markets are going. Um, it's, it, it further drives, it further accelerates um, continuous innovation through discovery, experimentation, design, and development to deliver outcome-focused product solutions as opposed to uh, feature-focused or uh, time-focused um, ones. Delivery on key business objectives from MVP through product maturity. Now, you may be thinking, well, what does a product manager actually do? Um, and as in in the in the in this in this future world or this future present world, you might say, um, at Cognizant um, and and emerging in in other companies, in order to help get these high value business outcomes. Well, there, there's never a one size fits all approach. Uh, to these problems. However, great product people, I like to always describe it as having a toolkit of strategies that they can leverage depending on the context, situation, desired outcomes, uh, where a client, where stakeholders, where the different people involved fall on the spectrum of uh, product and process, uh, um, knowledge, experience, execution. In practice, uh, this ends up, look. This this looks like um, as we as we move forward in time, uh, optimizing user value through continuous innovation, engaging different teams and stakeholders through storytelling and leveraging a product vision, understanding customers' motivations and values by developing user personas and zeroing in on a problem statement, inspiring the teams and units to deliver great products with metrics and prioritized roadmaps de-risking by continuously experimenting with hypothesis-driven development. Now, as, as we as we go towards as we go towards this future, um, the, the this this all spells out a, a, a specific type of future, and, and and I want you all to take as as you're looking towards this this future, it's a, it's a future of what we're talking about really is uh, holistic. Uh, product management. Uh, it's made up of several parts. Um, the the this holistic product management. It's I think you we've seen bits and pieces of uh, elements of of fragments of some variants, these these many parts uh, in a lot of forms. But when brought all together into a whole, um, it's it's those parts. It's it's those it's those components that really define, especially once integrated um, and melded, uh, really form that future of product management. Again, built on the foundation and the values uh, of generation uh, Y and Z and, 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 and up and coming alpha um, in, the, in the not so uh, distant future. Um, so the first, the first of these, first of these elements I wanna mention, talk a little bit about is the ecosystem. When you focus the this the ecosystem, when thinking about product management in the future, it's really about the, the building, it's about looking at it from an ecosystem perspective. It's focusing on solving the most important problems that deliver the greatest value aligned to KBOs. But I want you to zoom out a little bit when you think about this. When you focus on the problem, the problem, not the feature, uh, when you focus on the problem, not the ask, when you focus on the problem, the scope of what is referred to as the product expands. Uh, you're not you're not locked into one specific domain. You're looking for a solution to that problem, and so now you're no longer fixated on any of these specific features. Um, you're looking at the whole ecosystem, and what what is the ecosystem? The ecosystem consists of customers, administrators, systems, frameworks, processes, support, servers. 
uh, brand, the brand, everyone and everything that touches or is adjacent or, or two degrees removed from the product, allowing this allows this this creates this environment of identifying the best solution. The best solution is not always is is in many in many ways it's maybe it's a mobile solution. Maybe it's a, there's a digital solution. Maybe there's processes all around it. Um, it w within that ecosystem uh, that help drive uh, a solution to a, to a high value problem. The ecosystem is is I'd say one of those one of those most important elements, and hence the reason I'm talking about it first. That really helps tie together include tie together all these other elements that we're about to talk about. Next one being empowerment. Empowerment of the customer, empowerment of the product manager. It's about understanding everyone's strengths, what they bring to the table, how to optimize the unified value of it all, working with more specialists and experts, empowering them to drive the respective subject matter expertise roadmaps, aligning everyone. It's, 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 it's about breaking down a lot of the, wall, the walls of the team, breaking down those walls of ownership. Uh, if you have an expert at UX, aligning and empowering them to bring their best design know-how to solving the problem. You have a customer, customer success, identified a problem, helping them identify, helping them evaluate and identifying uh, problems framed in, in a way that, uh, of, uh, in, the way, in the ways of what and why uh, and impact and value. Helping engineers understand the UX research related to the customer success problems and empowering them to also solve them. It's a, empowerment is key. And if, if we learn anything from generation, uh, uh, generations Y and Z, it's, it, it's not just key, it's, it's what is sought. It's, it's about having that voice. It's about being heard. Um, and it's about being heard all 360 degrees. It's not just the product manager, but it's that product manager, it's that product management process and, and basically helping everyone be more empowered in the process through uh, understanding, uh, through knowledge, um, through uh, increased collaboration. And I, and I touched on it just briefly, um, but through with holistic product management um, comes, uh, you, would, you could say holistic enablement. And that we're, when we're talking about enablement, we're talking about teaching and spreading best practices, coaching clients uh, from the executive committees to the pods, collectively identifying new product opportunities. No longer, as you look towards the future, it's no longer about one person identifying an opportunity. It's about helping everyone understand how to think differently, how to think with that product mindset, to think about opportunities, to identify potential problems, uh, to, to communicate better to, with each other so that we can all rapidly iterate and learn and validate. And at the end of the day, solve these problems that I, I think uh, hopefully make money, save money, um, and all the other uh, key business objectives uh, in, in between. When you, uh, enablement, it's about training and mentoring product managers and other organizational departments and communities, constantly upgrading subject matter expertise and product skills with the latest to share with other PMs and clients, providing long-term guidance from senior product leadership. Raising it, enablement, it's, a, it's, it's there, it's to raise everyone's awareness and understanding of the product mindset, PM toolkit. I, I often say it's, but you know we're we're here to raise all boats. Um, it's not it's it's not a it's not a competition. It's raising all boats, and in raising all boats, everyone's performance um, uh, benefits. Everyone's performance increases through this type of enablement. And one of the one of those most I think key areas, um, in this case, experimentation to kind of go with the E theme or learning. It's about integrating experimentation in every everywhere. Um, you're going to see experimentation. Um, you're going to see uh, a continuous learning experiment. And this is beyond just the product domain, the product management domain. Product management, as I mentioned, that holistic product management going beyond uh, the, the technical side of a business um, into everything, uh, moving more quickly with curiosity, uh, minimizing risk, increasing chances of success, maximizing the value delivered, 
versus the cost and time spent. We're talking about ev everyone approaching their problems um, with this mindset of experimentation, of questioning uh, their assumptions uh, every, in, in every department, as I mentioned, HR, biz dev, um, uh, sales, engineering, um, com approaching everything with that, that curious mindset um, where uh, with a desire to continuously validate and you can't do you you can't um uh all of these things you you need you can't do without uh, a very important piece um and that comes expertise and and expertise uh expertise needs diversity needs to leverage diversity um in every every dimension um through that through diversity uh, you you see you get new perspectives, you get new questions. Um, that's where uh, innovation comes from. That's where new simple um, uh, solutions come from. Elegant solutions, delightful solutions come from. It's that, that ex, it's expertise where uh, there's a cross pollination of ideas and experience. It's about bringing in people from different domains or backgrounds um, into into maybe a into a certain type of market or 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 practice, uh, and it's about uh, it's about uh, then developing those skills along that line so that new ideas uh, are able to be uh, cross pollinated horizontally, vertically, um, to really maximize um, a lot of this expertise. So today. As, as I kind of start to wrap up, um, there's a, I, I, thought, I thought I'd wrap up and, and kind of end um, on, a, on a quote here um, from, uh, from someone I know, uh, Jeff Patton, uh, author and founder. He's, he's done a bunch of work in, in the agile and product worlds. Um, and that's, uh, remember at the end of the day, your job isn't to get the requirements. Uh, your job is to change the world. And that world can be as big or as small as it needs to, as is needed, um, and and that's it's it's very important to get past those features and really focus on the outcomes. Today we talked about the people driving change, the impact on product management and managers, the impact on companies, clients, customers, the key components to shape this future. We talked about inclusion, collaboration, distribution. These key drivers that are that come from the values, come from the environment, come from the cult, the, the, the evolution of culture around the world uh, um, that is shaping the future of, not just future, future of work, the future of product management, the future of product managers, um, the impact on, the, the positive impact on clients. Uh, and this resulting in, as we were just talking about, holistic product management, uh, shaped by those five E's, ecosystem, empowerment, enablement, experimentation, and expertise. That's outcome-driven, strengthened by user experience and marketing, built on modern engineering at global scale, imbued with delivery excellence. That, that, that's more than just the future product management role. That, for us at Cognizant, is how we think, how we, think, how we approach, how we're constantly designing and reimagining and reinventing um, the role of product management uh, uh, for for our, our associates and our and our clients. When you put it all together, the future of product management, the role, the impact on markets and companies, uh, future-facing, product-led digital transformation is aligned to solve the big problems, push beyond the key business objectives, drive iteration, experimentation, learning, et cetera. And now I'll say, I'll say something a bit uh, potentially controversial, especially in the product management world. The future isn't about the product manager. It's the pod. It's everyone's expertise, teammates, clients, customers, sales, HR, other pods. It's about how they, the product manager, can make the most of everyone, the resources, the tools, networks, data, unify that information and action it into a coherent product strategy. Everyone, as, as we move towards this future, everyone's expertise is going to grow. The tooling will become uh, uh, better. 
um, more, the, the platforms will further uh, help drive a lot of, a lot of these capabilities. Uh, but it's that product manager will increasingly become um, that, that coordinator, that unifier, the person still helping set that North Star, but increasingly um, there to find the experts, to find the right expertise and integrate that into that, that whole solution. That solves the important problems for the, the business and the customers. It's, it's, about, it's about aligning towards continued success and market advantage through all form of market and condition. And my final comment I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave everyone with today is um, with standardization around frameworks and experimentation, uh, decision-making, KPIs, all accelerated by market-leading tools like our Game of Pods and Talent World platforms, Every business problem is solvable uh, through a product mindset. Every one of them, not just our technical ones. And that's what the future holds uh, for product management. As a result, when looking at emerging and future trends in product, you can, increasing, you can find increasing emphasis on achieving key business outcomes with decreasing focus uh, on specific features. These, these business outcomes, uh, to, to make it a little bit clearer, such as mitigating risk, increasing retention, shifting to a new target market, are driven by the parallel product management trends of inclusion, collaboration, and distribution. Um, the, the, these, these outmoded, the, these, oh, these uh, 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 greater, than, greater than life uh, trends being, being driven uh, in large part by uh, the, new, the, the, the newer generations, I, you might say. Um, uh, in, in the workforce. Uh, put simply, and, and really, and demonstrated in part by the pandemic, um, it's about recognizing that everyone, the, the futures are about recognizing that everyone has a key role to play in the success of the product. It's about understanding everyone's strengths and leveraging the expertise. It's about having the capability and rapidly optimizing the unified value towards the product's most important goals. It's what we do today for our associates um, and clients and see in the future of product management. Uh, and so that, that's all I have to say uh, today. I'm happy to take any questions uh, that may have uh, come across. Uh, yeah. so, Jeremy, yeah. thank you so much. You, this is Clay Griffith. You, you really captured a lot of the ethos here at Soft Vision uh, and the product thinking that we try to bring into the pods and how we believe the product uh, mindsets really can solve so many problems, um, both with product engineering and beyond in business. So I, I loved your points here. I love the five E's. We do have some questions. Let me jump into those. Uh, I'm going to read them directly to you, Jeremy. So uh, one question from the audience. I agree with the. I agree that the future is today. Companies need to take more action. Can you speak to how inclusivity, inclusivity, or listening to everyone can be applied in current everyday product management processes? Does that make sense to you? Sure, um, I think so. I'll do my best to answer that question. Um, the, I, I think the ex, it's not, it's how can, how can inclusivity, how can we um, make sure we're taking everyone, uh, speak to how, the question being speaking to how inclusive, inclusivity um, can be applied uh, in current everyday product management processes. Uh, I think to start, when you're thinking, uh, one of those key roles of a product manager, um, even in present day thinking, um, you would you think about think about customer development. Um, you are there. Um, your your job is to ask um, ask some broad ask broad questions. Hear uh, come at come at things as scientifically as possible. Ask those questions that can that can maybe surprise you look for those trends and a big part of customer development is listening um, i think the as i think taking that 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 skill that uh that uh experienced product managers have in listening and, and looking for those looking for those trends in product looking for the looking for the facts you might say um looking for the the facts uh in, look, in doing that, I think now expanding that and understanding and approaching everyone, um, approaching everyone with 
I would say I would go beyond just just go beyond courtesy, but with collegiality, recognizing that everyone has a unique perspective, that you have a lot to learn, understand their perspective, um, uh, and approach everything with uh, an open mind and a curiosity. Um, so when you're talking about listening to everyone, you 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 should hear opinions. It's not about um, it's not about um, letting someone talk um, just so that they could talk. It's about hearing hearing what they've got to say, understanding their perspective. You know, with some good some good follow up questions there, uh, and then it's about really understanding and then integrating that into the the greater perspective. And that's why when you're looking at the future of product management, you're looking at what that means about listening to everyone. Um, that means respectfully hearing, not just listening, hearing and, and processing um, and, and, and and taking it into a whole, not discounting someone who is, in a, is on a different type of team or is on a different type of role um, or, or, or speaks of, uh, or speaks differently or uses different terminology. It's about making sure your job as that as a future product manager, especially as, if, as you want to apply that sort of concept and philosophy today, your job is to figure out, is to understand that, is to translate that into meaningful ways and integrate that into uh, that actionable strategy. Perfect. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay. So we got another one here uh, saying very, very motivational, this whole speech. Um, how can someone who is working on something that they feel is not connected to changing the world in a meaningful way, uh, how should they think about this, this message? Um, and, and what would you argue back to them if, if, with that viewpoint that they brought with that question? Sure. Sure. So I chose that, I chose that quote um, because uh, I think every, I think all of every product manager is in some way changing the world. Now that world can be, uh, that world can be, think, think of it. My, my, my whole world is my family. That's my world. I think my wife, my two kids, that's my world for you as a product manager. Um, the world you can change is maybe is, is the one customer, those thousand customers, a million when you, as you, when you solve that one problem, that problem might be small, might be small right now, um, might, might, might be large. It's about that impact, the impact when you're talking about changing the world, that world changing thing is what impact can you have um, on, on someone else? And so when, when I think as long as you're in a, in a, in a product management role um, uh, that with, with a, with a fairly clear definition for there are many definitions of product management. Um, you are changing the world. Um, it's, uh, uh, you are having impact on the world. Um, you just have to kind of sometimes resize the world and resize uh, your perspective um, for where, where you're having that impact. Very good. Okay, so the next question is looking for examples, um, really. So what they're, what they're asking is, um, the takeaway being that there, there's a, such a thing as a futuristic product team. The future is now, of course, but there's a futuristic product team with these five E's possibly already baked in. So if that does exist, what has your experience been working with a team like that? And what is the impact of that team on what they're doing? And if not, if the team lacks the five E's, maybe if you haven't seen that fully formed, what's the consequence that, you're, that you've seen or that maybe that you anticipate is one way to look at that. And so... Let me let me try to come at that a little back. Let me let me let me try to back into that one a little bit. Um, when you when you were look the the non future proofed product management team, um, it's good for now, right? Uh, I think the but you you end up a, a non future proof product team. Let's take a, a really a strong one. Um, it's hopefully doing customer development. Great. Um, is uh, talking to customers, um, maybe using lean methodology, uh, iterating on their strategy. Great. Now, but there's a ceiling. There's a ceiling there. And, and, I, I, and I, I'm not saying today you're hitting your head into that ceiling. But what I'm saying is 
for those who can align towards that future, can be moving towards that future today, that future that I laid out today, uh, uh, from those those built those core those three building blocks those five E's, if you can align towards that future, um, and you can start executing on that today, like we're doing here, you're changing the whole equation. You're um, you're you are you are opening um, so much untapped potential uh, beyond your team, so much untapped resources beyond your team. You, you, your pod, they don't have to solve all of it. Um, there are other teams and, and, and given the power of product management and product mindset um, can, can augment the solution, can augment the thinking, can increase the brain power um, on everything, increase uh, the ability to, to execute with that, with that, that needed excellence. Um, so I would say uh, it's about well, as you as you start to align towards that future, um, you start to unlock um, that potential, um, and that's constantly what we're doing. We're constantly um, realigning. We're constantly experimenting. We understand where where it's going, and uh, and we're constantly working towards um, adjusting it and iterating it, um, especially as as time moves on, um, iterating it to. Um, the different different types of pods, different types of uh, products and clients, um, because it's about find, finding new ways all the time of maximizing maximizing uh, uh, maximizing the the solutions that we can provide to customers, to clients, um, uh, to associates as well. You know, both looking inward and outward. That's great. Okay, Jeremy, that's the last question that we had. So, any parting words? Uh, I, I, I had a uh, thank you for those questions. They were really great questions. Also, I, I like the questions that really make me think uh, in, in, my, in my response as well. Um, anyone who wants to reach out to me um, about my, my side projects all happening, happening to also be product management um, or, or otherwise, we're also doing a lot of hiring all around the world in product management here at Cognizant. Uh, you can reach out to me um, uh, by my email, which is Jeremy Horn at Cognizant or softvision.com, uh, as well as you can contact me on LinkedIn. Uh, at, 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 you can find me at linkedin.com slash in slash I'm known online really everywhere. I've got a lot of, lot of content out there. I do a lot of talking uh, as the product guy. So linkedin.com slash in slash the product guy is another, yet, yet another avenue. Uh, wish to connect uh, with me and feel free to reach out. I love, I love meeting new product people. Um, and uh, I also uh, love uh, working with new clients to uh, help them think through their, what their problems may be. So both welcome to reach out. Thank you very much. Amazing job. All right. Thank you everybody for joining us and uh, stay tuned for more on product day. Thank you so much.